Have you already learned the basic rope flow patterns but are unsure how to piece them together into your flows? Well, today I'm gonna to show you how to do that with specific attention to your footwork so you can achieve the perfect balance and weight distribution and maximize your movement efficiency. So the first move I'm gonna to touch upon is a pattern called the ace. And the reason for that is because it forms a lovely progression once you've mastered the dragon roll. And I'm also gonna use it in some of the flows that I'm gonna share with you later as well. I'm also gonna show you how you can utilize your footwork to maximize your efficiency of movement and weight distribution with this move as well. So let's get into it. So we're gonna build upon the dragon roll in order to learn this move. And what we're gonna do is get ourselves in a dragon roll, whichever side you prefer, doesn't matter for now, we're gonna practice on both sides anyway. So. If you notice now in my dragon roll, as I'm coming from the right side of my body over, I'm going right to left like that. As the rope comes over my body, when I'm in dragon roll, it's gonna come across the front of my body like that to reset for the next dragon roll, if you know what I mean. So it's gonna come like that and then it's gonna come in front of my body there, okay? What I want you to think of, instead of sending that rope over and then in front of your body, this time with the ace, the rope is essentially gonna come over and then behind my body like that. So I'm also gonna turn my body as I do the movement as well, which means that this will be my lead leg and the rope is gonna go on the outside of my lead leg like that. And I'll show you what I mean right now. So here we are in dragon roll and I'm gonna send the rope over as it comes behind, over like that, and then back into dragon roll. But for now, I just want you to perfect that little bit there where we're gonna go over to the side and come outside of your lead leg. So back into dragon roll, here we are. There we go, behind the back and over like that. All right, back into dragon roll, over and back into dragon roll, okay? Ace there, there we go, okay? So practice that a few times, guys. Go back into dragon roll so you're comfy, reset, and just remember, every time that rope's going over, it's gonna come on the outside of that lead leg instead of coming on the inside for a normal dragon roll. So now I'm gonna show you how you can maximize your movement efficiency with your footwork with the ace. So as you notice, when I'm performing the ace, I'm gonna constantly shift my weight between my legs, okay? So as I throw the rope over, I'm gonna end up on my lead leg here and pretty much 90% of all my body weight is gonna be on this lead leg here and I'm just gonna raise my back heel off the ground like that so that I know that pretty much I've got all my weight on my lead leg, yeah? I can lift my back leg up and I'm still in balance. So there I am, I'm gonna be on my lead leg and then I'm gonna come back. As I come back, I'm gonna just lift my toes of my lead leg off the ground and lean all my weight onto my back leg here. That's gonna load me up, ready for the throw and I'm gonna transition all my weight again back onto my lead leg. So we'll show you what that looks like, so here we are, over, just like that, okay? There we go. So just pay attention to your footwork with that one, and of course, remember to practice it on both sides. So here we are, we're gonna come over, lean back, and transition all your weight, pretty much 90% of it, onto your lead leg, and just like that, okay? I'm also gonna show you another little variation with the ace, you can do it two ways. Um, you might see people do it like I've just been doing it there where you're, it's pretty much like a dragon roll and you're coming over like that. But you can also imitate a tennis serve with this move, hence the name ace, and that looks like this, okay? So, boom, there. So just bend the elbow at the top, hands coming behind the neck almost. And there we go, just like that. So have a play around with that variation as well. So the next pattern that I'm gonna show you is one called the Mackie Roll, as they call it in the flow rope community. And this one is super important because it forms the foundation for many other flows that you're gonna learn. Now, as, of course, as I said, I'm gonna show you how you can maximize your movement efficiency with your footwork on this one as well. And we're also gonna train our fascial slings in the body, specifically the anterior oblique sling, which is the connection between my left adductor here, which is gonna connect over to the right side of my body and potentiate that rotational power and the transfer of weight as well. So I'll show you how we do that now. 
So we're gonna start off in the overhand matador and I'm gonna have my right leg in front. I'm gonna be facing this way. I'm just gonna get comfortable in the overhand matador here. It's a two beat move, so it's one, two, one, two there. And what I'm gonna be doing is transitioning my weight over to the other side, going into the underhand matador with a little transition move, which they call the golf swing, which is that one there, okay? So we'll break that down nice and slowly. So here I am, I'm in overhand matador there. Just take this nice and slowly, and I'm gonna transition, golf swing, and there I am, I'm in the underhand matador now, right? So we'll just get this transition done first, overhand into underhand. Now what I want you to pay attention to is my footwork when I actually transition my weight over. And this is how you can maximize your efficiency and movement and weight distribution as well, which is something really good to pay attention to early on in your rope flow journey. So here I am, I'm in overhand matador. Now when I'm ready to transition, you'll notice that what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna externally rotate my left leg here, which is gonna open me up ready to transition all my weight over to my left side like that. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is externally rotate that leg, and then when I reach the midway point, which is here as I'm transitioning with the golf swing, I'll show you what I mean. So here I am, I'm gonna be here, and that's when I'm gonna start to plant this leg on the floor, and then start to put pretty much all my weight onto this left leg, as I said, about 90% of your weight. And there I am, I'm over onto the left side and I'm gonna be doing the underhand matador. So let's put that all together. Here we are, all my weights on my right. Here we go, and I'm gonna transition now. I'm gonna turn that leg, boom, there I am. And I'm doing the underhand matador. And this is that same thing when we transition over to the other side. So here, turn, boom, okay? Just get yourself comfortable with that. Just pay attention to that footwork. And then when you're ready, you can just be transitioning like that. And you're gonna flow nice and freely. We just take this one nice and slow for now. It's not a race, it's no rush. You just wanna dial in your footwork like that. Open them hips up, just like so. And another little thing you can play around with is when you're coming over to the overhand, you can do that nice little high elbow Boom, there, play around with that variation as well. I'll show you that again. So here, underhand, there we go, yeah? I'll show you that again. So here, underhand, there we go, yeah? Transition back, open up, boom. Boom, there we go. Okay guys, so break that down nice and slowly. Don't rush it, have a good practice for that. We're gonna use that in some other flows. So I'll show you them now. So of course we wanna practice the Mackie roll on both sides. And once we've perfected both of those, we can add a little bit more complexity to the movement. And all we're gonna do with that is add a nice little switch of the feet, which is gonna, again, work our footwork. And it's also gonna test your balance a little bit as well. So I'll show you how we're gonna do that. So we're gonna be as we were before. Here I am in my Mackie roll. I'm gonna come over to this side. And I'm gonna switch back over here. Now, when I get to the outside of my lead leg, that is when I'm gonna do a little switch like that, switch my feet over, and then I'm gonna send the rope over to the other side, open up, back into the Mackie roll this side. So I'll break that switch of the feet down nice and slowly for you. So here we are, I'm gonna start off in overhand. We're gonna come over to underhand, here, over, switch the feet, and then back over to the underhand, there. Switch the feet again, and there we go, okay? So, what I want you to really focus on is just your footwork on this one. Try not to rush it, don't go too crazy. There's really no need so early on. What you wanna be doing is just taking it nice and slowly. Get used to that, how it feels. I'm gonna come over to the underhand, overhand there, switch. There, okay, nice and easy, just like this. There, switch, boom. Transitioning your weight over, change legs, just like that, okay? So another fun little variation for you to try once you've mastered the Mackie roll and have a little go with it, see what you think. 
Okay, good. So we've mastered the ace and the Mackie roll. So now what we're going to do is we're going to put both of those moves together into a nice little flow. It's going to be a little bit more complex now, but this is a really nice little transition you can use for your flows and it just fits nicely with lots of things. So here's how we do it. So here we are in overhand. We're going to come across into underhand on the outside, ace and over to overhand again. We'll do that again nice and slowly. Overhand, boom, there, ace, and back over. Okay. Just like that, okay guys? So have a little play around with that. Remember to send the ace over to the outside of your lead leg there. Then you're just gonna come back to another ordinary Mackie roll back into the underhand. And when we get that rope, on the outside of the lead leg. That's when we open up to send the rope over to the other side. And of course you can play around with that variation I showed you where we bend the hand as well, just like that, there, boom. Okay guys, have a play around with that as well. So finally, I've saved the best one till last. This one's probably the most complex and it's gonna put everything that we've learned together into a nice little flow and of course, as I've explained with all the other exercises, just take them all nice and easy. Once you've mastered them, then you can start to turn it into more of a metabolic workout or that sort of thing, okay? So, what we're gonna do is we've just mastered the Mackie roll with Ace, and now we're gonna add that switch step into it as well, like we did with the Mackie roll, and we're gonna do it on both sides. So, show you what I mean. Here we are in overhand, come over to the underhand, Ace, there, switch, Mackie roll, ace there, and switch, just like that, okay? Doing it on both sides. Now there's a subtle detail that I just wanna focus on here, and that is when you come over to your underhand here and you go over to the ace there, it's only gonna be one beat, if you know what I mean, one swing on the outside of your lead leg before you have to then switch and then send it over to the other side. Two beats of overhand matador on this leg before you can then open up for your Mackie roll and continue the flow. So let's piece all that together. So I'm here in overhand. I'm gonna come over to the underhand, ace, boom, switch my legs, Mackie roll, ready for the ace, over, just like that. Take it nice and easy. No need to rush, switch your legs there ace play around with that variation okay and just have a little play with it guys it's a really nice little transition combo you can try it just works uh, it will really test your balance as well as you can see i'm almost stumbling around all over the place but if you master that i guarantee your rope flow progression will just absolutely skyrocket and i'm sure these moves are giving you plenty to think about as well now if you wanted to use some of these moves in a workout. I've actually put together a five minute follow along workout, what you can check out here as well. And of course, if you like this sort of content, please subscribe to the channel, leave us a like, just let us know you enjoyed the content and I'll be making you lots more. So I'll see you guys in another video.